we're going to take an in-depth look today on how to dynamically adjust the minimum and maximum of a slider so you can change the minimum and maximum in your program while it's running so you can use the same slider for different value uh, groups or different uh, value ranges we're going to start by a basic look at the slider and we're going to continue then with the more in-depth operation so if you're already familiar with the slider you can skip this part you can find the slider under the dashboard section in the Node-RED project when you have installed the Node-RED dashboard package and we will drag and drop it to our workspace. Now a error appears because we, we didn't add a dashboard group. You can do this quickly by creating a new tab. We will call it home, add it just the default values. Now a group has been added. Of course, you can also change this manually. We can add a label to the slider, which will appear on the left-hand side. We can add a tooltip, so when the user hovers over it, he knows what to do with this uh, slider. And then here are the value, values that we are going to control later via the program. Uh, here we can set them static, so we can only set them in the program. And the program itself can't change these values. This is the range, so the slider will go from 0 to 10 in a step size of 1. Here on the output, we have two options, continuously while sliding and on release. This means uh, continuously while sliding means that values get sent into the program whenever they change. On release means that and we're going to use this one. This means that the value only gets sent when the user releases the mouse key. So we'll press done and deploy and we will switch to the dashboard and we will see a slider has appeared. I will switch back and add a debug to the end of the slider to see which values are coming out of the slider. I deploy now. We see now it's on the minimum of zero. When I slide it and release three, we see that the value three is being injected. Now my goal is so I can select and change this maximum and minimum, this range, and also if you see here, when I slide, I can only slide it with a distance of one. So it's increased or decreased by one every time I slide. Of course, I can do it right here. I can, for example, set a maximum value of 100 and a step size of 10, deploy it. And now you can see maximum will go to 100 and I can only increase or decrease by 10. This is good, although it is not what we want to reach. We want to reach that we can change these values all the time from the program so that we can, for example, get some value from the API or from another source. And this value will then change what the user can select with the slider. For that, we need a more in-depth understanding. It is always good to get a basic understanding of your notes by clicking the help button on the top right hand side, which is this book icon. Here you can see basic settings for the slider, as well as some more complicated ones on how to control it. We will also use this particular uh, place where we will set the current value so the place in which the slider will be set from the program for the user. And then we are going to use more in-depth, more complicated tutorial and more complicated description on how to select the minimum and maximum value. For this, we're going to use this particular tutorial right here, which is on GitHub and it's also in the description. As you can see, it describes how you can use the msg.ui underscore control to select and to change certain things of your UI item. You can use it for buttons, charts, drop downs, and of course, the thing we want, slider. This slider takes 
four different uh, objects, minimum, maximum, and step, and also class name. We're not going to use class name, we're just going to select or going to set these three now. So what we need to do is we need to create the msg.ui control. Watch out, there's no payload in there, so we can't set it like normally in a payload. We need to create a new object, UI control, and we want to set in this object these variables, min, max, and step. We will switch back to node red now, and we will put a function in front of the slider. I will connect it, and then double click on it. Now we need to create a software or a program which will give us an output in corresponding with this manual. For that, we're going to overwrite the whole message object by writing msg equals and then brackets. And now we are going to call this subobject ui underscore control. We will make another object inside of this ui control and this object will have these three variables, min, max, and step. So min, max, and step. We're just going to set it to a standard value now to test if everything works. So we want now the minimum to be minus 10, the maximum to be 1000, and the step size to be 100. And we're going to inject this right now to our slider and see what changes on the dashboard. For reference, now the slider goes from 0 to 100 in a step size of 10. I deploy. And now, of course, nothing has changed. First, we need to inject by pressing here on the timestamp. I put an inject before. So when I press here, the value gets loaded into the uh, slider or the new configuration. And as you can see, now the slider has changed. I can only adjust by sizes of 100. The maximum 1000 can't be reached because it's not in the, in the step chain of uh, increasing only by 100, but uh, we can see the slider has changed to our wishes. We can, of course, set these values also by setting them to other variables, like, for example, to flow variables, or we can put here, let's say we want to outsource it, const minimum is equal to msg.payload. So let's say minimum. So now the value which gets put into msg.payload will go to the minimum and maximum will stay 1000 and let's change the step size back to one so we can see if we actually reach the maximum. I will press done and I will change the inject so the inject will give me a, a value that can be comprehended by the function after it. Let's say I want the minimum to be minus 20. Deploy. First, of course, nothing changes. I need to inject. And once I go back and I adjust the slider, you can see now the minimum the slider can go to is minus 20 and the maximum is 1000. I can, of course, go on and add more values. But one thing I want to look at now is the setting of a static value so that the program can set the slider to let's say 500 so we want the program automatically setting the slider for the user to start operating with for that we can use the default normal help of the slider and we can go here and we will see uh, that we can change this value by parsing or by passing a value in msg.payload since we currently don't have a msg.payload because we overwrite the whole object, we first need to create this. It's fairly easy to do this. Here we have the object UI control. We can just add a comma underneath 
it's important to be underneath the brackets connected to UI control and then write payload. And let's say we want to set the slider to 500, so we enter 500. Let's take a look at how this output looks. So we will connect the debug. Important, double click the debug and change it to complete message object because we don't only read out the payload, we read out the complete object. Deploy this, change to the debug tab. I clear it quickly and then I inject. And as you can see, now the debug got us this object, which has a sub object of UI control, including minimum, maximum, and step, and our desired payload of 500. We can already see that the slider worked. It gave us 500 in an output, but we can check it over here. We can also see the slider moved back to 500. And I put it to 200, for example. I press here again. I go back, you see, the slider has been reset to 500. This has been the tutorial for the slider. If you have any questions or comments, we are glad to receive them. Thank you for watching.